welcome to what should be the final episode of the Stockport County Youth Squad Legends series. It's been quite the journey. There's four games between us and the Champions League trophy. I'm sorry that we haven't had a Youth Squad Legends episode over the last, like, week or two. Just a couple of personal issues that I'd rather not go into, but we're feeling much better now and we need to feel better for such an occasion. With this being the final, it absolutely does not need sad boy hours. Overall, it's been not just a journey for these Stockport players, but a journey for myself over the FIFA 23 game cycle. I've lost about two stone. I've got myself into a new relationship. Yeah, there's been a lot of positives, a lot of positives that I can take through this year. I look upon this series with great fondness. Definitely one of the funniest, if not the funniest series that I've produced. And I'm here for one last ride. <sighs> As per usual, we have got something planned for the end of this episode. It's quite significant, so please stick around for that. First game is Stockport against AFC Bournemouth. Let's have a whale of a time here, guys. Quick sim, the score. Are we drawn? We keep on drawing. Pegararo scored twice for us. Let's talk briefly about Pegararo because I usually put out a poll at about this time asking people... Who's going to score in the Champions League final? I think it's pretty pointless at the moment because we know that Pegararo's going to bag. He's transcended. We have results of the quarterfinals and it's good news. Barcelona and Bayer Leverkusen both got through. My goodness, can we have Bayer Leverkusen in the final? That is just the quintessential final right there. I would take Barcelona, but we want the most challenging games here. We want the Champions League to mean something when we do eventually win it. Making the Stockport Funniest Moment compilation videos really is giving me a soft spot for Koit Cook, so he will be starting here at home against uh, Borussia Dortmund. There's no new board objective here. We're just carrying on with the Rafa Reina improvements. But we're not gone for Rafa Reina tonight. Oh no, it's all about Juicy John at camp. Gotta respect Giuseppe Pegararo for scoring 14 goals in the Champions League this season. That is an eye-watering in statistic and I don't think it'll be oh Jang Sung Chan's got himself booked que sarami ogo isasso. to give myself like extra editing time we have started incredibly early today we are fresh we are golden it's juicy john it's juicy john i'm feeling great today usually the extended periods of the game do well for our general playing experience so let's go up it goes pegararo chest control he's gone yeah! up over the advertising boards again we're jumping! Everybody's up off the seats in the stadium! This is our year, boys! Cook Aldinho release of Jang Sung Chan. It's a flick on to Damian Ellis. A lovely finish. All the front three players have scored already. Unbelievable start here by Stockport County. And they're off again. Juicy John Pegararo's on! Not on side! Of course he's not going to be in the question of, like, greatest striker and that. But he is shifting about the place, Pegararo. And I do hope that we will get an opportunity, even against the... Oh, Jeng Sung Chan, even against the great sides, to maybe score the most goals in one match with Pegararo. Damian Ellis off the line. Pegararo will try and pass it inside. But Dortmund escaped that barrage. And it is just a constant barrage. I can't get it off Pegararo. Ellis will launch it up. It's Pegararo who smashes the crossbar. Everything's calmed down now. The game's gone into a normal rhythm. There's a one over here for Dortmund. They'll get a goal back. Callum hudson Adoy with the goal. Honestly, I think the damage has already been done. Yes, Jang. Flip flaps by Jang Sung Chan. <laughs> Almost makes you want to shed a tear. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. When there's something strange in your neighborhood, who you gonna call? Yuko. That's right. Kukadunio sticks a leg in, might get a yellow card for that. 
Bolan wins the ball. We're winning the midfield battles. Sanders surely has the speed to get back here. Lopez out of his net. I expected that bike heel clearance off the line by Bustamante. Dorman really have settled down into the game now. Maybe they've changed the tactics. It seems more stable for sure. Pegararo is miles offside here, so I had to delay the cross. And that is half time. Let's bring Lopez out slightly. Right on the money there. Dado, for some reason, clears it out anyway. Probably didn't receive a, a call from his goalkeeper. Smash this out of play, guys. Got some substitutions on the way. It's not being Cook's day. So Jimmy Gallagher's coming onto the field. And so is Rafa Reina for 30 minutes. So uh, it'll be three attribute points after this match. Sanders forced the pass outside. It is nice and controlled here. For the most part, but Blanco sent it to Hudson Adai, and now it's 3 2. Secretly, the ex Chelsea man's having a very, very good game here. I've got to be honest, Dortmund, for the most part, have been the better side, but the burst, the 20 minute burst at the start of this game, was so frantic by Stockport that it seems like it's blown the away side out of the water. Soto is out the picture. Bolham's trying to like fill him frantically. A lovely touch there by Sanders. Gotta be full time soon. Two added minutes. The two added minutes are up. Pegararo is trying to get power behind the shot. It's all right. We've got through just by the end of the game. The match facts look very even indeed. Calendar, what we got? By Leverkusen in the semis. It's a bit painful because it's not the final that we wanted with them. But I also would like to face Barcelona at some point. And what better time to face Barcelona than the Champions League final itself? Let's see if Jan Regina can score against us. It's Nottingham Forest against Stockport County. That ends 3-2. Juicy John, Damien Ellis twice on the score sheet. Regina did not score. Stockport County against Leeds United. Ends up being 3-1. Calvo seems Seems to have had quite the game. Back to the first team, trying to keep as much sharpness as possible. Stockport against Spurs ends 1-0. Pegararo scoring. And then four days rest until the Champions League semi-final, mate. I can't lie, it might be bigger than the final itself. Well, it was going to happen sometime. I wish this was the final, but I think it would be disingenuous if I was to try and, like, manipulate the fixtures. It's the semis. It's a very technical central midfield three. Leverkusen again! Against Stockport! Jang Sung Chan needs to have a massive, massive game protecting Sanders and Dada Bustamante. Absolutely huge. Yo, look at this good scene! Reina lifts it up to Pegararo. I don't know if he's onside. Apparently he is. Damian Ellis tries the header instead of flicking it with one of his feet. Better start here by Sanders and Dada Bustamante against their incredible opposition. Guerra's not got the speed to control Saka, but Sanders is there on the cover. That's what we love to see. That's the tactics working. Reina, Pegararo needs to leave this. We seem to have confused the Bayer Leverkusen defence. Damien Ellis has made this 1-0 because the Leverkusen defence has stopped. Pegararo is clearly offside, but he didn't interfere with the play. Didn't even celebrate that one. Very intriguing. Maybe this one will be a bit easier to understand. Great touch. Pegararo flip-flap. He gets past another one. And there it goes. Past third. It's an incredible run and a good save. Bowl them out. Swinger. It's Damien Ellis! Who's having a massive game in Germany? Big part to play though, Pegararo, with that incredible run to just bring up the corner kick. Lovely crossing by Bolham. We're 2 0 up here. Come on. We want eight. We want eight. They're already taking a player off. They're not happy. Right, Brobby's got past Sanders here. Massive Great. chance for Leverkusen. Saved by our amazing goalkeeper. Is Brobby getting warmed up? Let's hope not. Dada Bustamante. Big performance. Winger Dada Bustamante. Flicks it in. Damian Ellis could have got himself a hat trick. 2 0 at half time. Time. Things can't be getting much better for Stockport County at this moment. Yes, Dada Bustamante with the yellow card. Damian Ellis knuckleball going all over the place. Needed to swing the other way. Sanders up to top speed just about. Saka was lurking. I think these guys are starting to run out of ideas. Tackled by Juicy John and a flick over because he saw the uh, progression that Ramon Guerra was making. 
Can we find a cross? It's actually a decent delivery. Damian Ellis once again having the chance to score himself a hat trick. Very close this one. Jang Sung Chan has really protected these centre backs well. Well, look at this. Look at this. How are you even supposed to defend that? Brobby scores after this intricate play. One touch all over the place there from Bayer Leverkusen. That's what I worry about. When they are in the mood, they can just switch it on immediately. Caught Brobby offside there. Dada Bustamante, even though he's received a yellow card, has been very, very good today. We're talking tight marking and incredibly physical. Brilliant by Juicy John. We have no Sanders here. We're gonna have to slow it down for Sanders to recover. Here we go, Sanders, yes! That is massive defending by both Sanders and Bustamante. Lovely press. Look where Sanders is, man. All action, all over the pitch. There's a ball in, and Pegoraro almost got his goal. Get a corner kick. Last few seconds, that is a hand trick for Damian Ellis! Just like Pegararo in the group stages, we've got a hat trick from one of our strikers. An heroic performance that puts us one step in the final. Oh, it's not being classed as an Ellis goal. That is, there's no chance, no chance. That's an Ellis goal and an Ellis hat trick. Give him the match ball, man. That is absolutely an Ellis goal. Right, in between the two Bayer Leverkusen matches, we have this uh, away game in the Premier League against West Ham United. Finishes off 1-1. Johan Miranda, a familiar face scoring against us. Rafa Reina played all 90 minutes, so he's gonna get himself an improvement. The hopes are after this match, we can get his ball control and dribbling up into the 80s. Bolam's looking a bit tired. So that might be our midfield three. I would like to have one final game with Calvo. Because really what he's doing in the simulations is quite unreal. Can we have a game with Red and Strand? Pegararo slightly tired. I mean, this really is the final goodbye for some of these players. Cabasau, definitely. Yeah. Can we fit in Socrates? Maybe a, a totally different forward line. Sanabria gets a call. Might as well partner him up with Svetkovic. Where? Where do we put Noah Anderson then? Left back, sure mate. If Gary's a decent left back, then why can't you be? I don't think we've seen enough of Jimmy Gallagher, so let's get him on the subs bench. He might make an appearance as well in the Champions League final, but he won't start. I'm happy just leaving everyone else. Okay, we're 3-1 up. Stockport County against Bayer Leverkusen. Let's take this nice and easy, lads. This is not our first team squad. If we are not focused up here, they could genuinely rip us apart in 20 minutes. You better be thanking me in the comments section for giving Red and Strand a run out here, lads. I'm being real with you now. Svetkovic is one of the best centre-backs that I've ever played with on FIFA. It's been very difficult sometimes to ignore him when we have been playing poorly in defence. But obviously, storyline is greater than... Individual Space. performances. What a great save by Lopez. And Dada Bustamante, Sanders, they need to win the Champions League. Splash. For the good of the series, they need to win the Champions League. Lopez, let's just have a moment as this corner kick is being placed to applaud Yure Lopez for everything. All the slander that he got in League One because he wasn't saving everything. Now look at him. Now look at this lad. Noah Anderson is the furthest man forward, which is questionable because he's playing left back. But you know what? He might score here. Noah Anderson. Oh! Who's this? Marcus Toland! It would have been nice to see him score, really. I wanted to have a run with Svetkovic, but you know what would be more telling? If we had a run with Jang Sung Chan! No, Anderson's having a brilliant game, by the way. So it turns out that he was a left back all along as well. Okay, Saka's got past Sanabria. This might be a problem if it wasn't for Svetkovic. Squash. Yes, Lopez, front post. Easy save in the end. Off goes Noah Anderson. Once again, the furthest player forward from the corner kicks. It's a decent cross. It's Socrates with the acrobatic effort over the bar. Great counter-attacking by Stockport. As this essential B team is actually doing all right. Really making me proud. Yes, Svet. Keeper. Oh, didn't save it. Lopez did not save that for some reason. There's another goal for Brobby. Now, how many goals has Brobby scored against us this series? It is gaining probably double figures. That is shocking. Lopez, why? 
just been singing your praises, mate. Instead of going through all the individual substitutions, this is how we're going to line up for the second half. It's pretty mental, but it means that everybody gets a bit of a showing in this finale episode. Red and Strand, great header, Cucaldino. Gets a cross, and you know what? It's a decent cross as well. We wait like a hundred games for a cross like that from Cook, and no one's there to just pop it into the back of the net. It's a Cucaldinho! This is Ronnie Valdo. Cucaldinho! You don't believe I'm passing that to Red and Strand. There's no way. I'm, I'm trying a long shot there with the Estonian. I, I'm sorry, Red and Strand, man. To be fair, he is a, a very selfish player. He's made the right pass there. Jimmy Gallagher of all players. He's going one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Okay, this, this right here is a beautiful moment. Because Jimmy Gallagher never, ever gave up on his career at Stockport. And even though players started growing way quicker than him, he still had heart, he still had that engine, and he scored now in a Champions League semi-final. Big relief, a one-goal margin against Leverkusen is always a dangerous game. Ronnie Valdo on the spin. Now, can he set up Redenstrand? Yes! Well, that's a typical Redenstrand finish. Ronnie Valdo's role in the Stockport County side is a bit interesting because... We're expecting him to be the best player in the world one day, but really, in these years, these first seasons, Lopez, come on. He's been playing more of a support striker, allowing others to take the star role up front. Musiala makes it 2-1 to Leverkusen on the night. We are back to a goal advantage. We've got to be ever so careful here. Come on, Svetkovic. Marking the run. It's perfect defending, really. Yeah. And then he just puts the pressure on. Jimmy Gallagher sets up Red and Strand. Here we go. The Red and Strand fans. This is your moment. Yes! Yes! Red and Strand. I see things where you go. Let's go. Red and Strand. The Viking man has seen before. Come on! That's one for you guys. Never gave up on him. We're going into the Champions League final. And I think we'll be massive favourites just on the basis of this. Our B team is drawing against the mighty Bayer Leverkusen. One more goal for Cucaldinho. He's whipping out the skills. It's Cucaldinho on a mazy run. Get the music going. Ronnie Valdo returns it back. Oh, and he was one defender away from a one-on-one -on -one situation that is full time we are into the champions league final it looks like barcelona are going to get through against atletico madrid okay so we will play against the second best club team in the world i think it is uh, ratings wise just behind manchester city this is leicester city against stockport county let's have a look at the score here, 1-0. Ramon Guerra, the only goal scorer. We've been creeping up the uh, table. I don't think we've got any chance of lifting the trophy, but it will mean that Wesley Martinez's job will be very, very secure, especially if we go on and win the uh, Champions League trophy at the end of the season. I'll let Pep Guardiola have this one. This is Stockport County against Crystal Palace. Final score, 1-0 to Crystal Palace. So we will drop out of second place, I think. And the final Premier League game, we're away against Newcastle United. Ooh, and we've said goodbye to the Premier League in some style. Juicy John, Jimmy Gallagher, Ramon Guerra, and Damien Ellis to score four at St. James's Park. Very impressive. Standings in the Premier League. We finished third. We're very comfortably in the Champions League for next season. Disregarding the fact that we've obviously got the Champions League final against Barcelona. Let's have the pre-match conference. Soak in the atmosphere. It might be the final time that we see Wesley Martina as manager. Uh, we really do have an excellent squad of players. You can see the scowl in his face. When Bayer Leverkusen beat us silly, something snapped in Wesley Martina. Maybe he was a bit too nice. I don't know. Most of the command this series has been from Dada Bustamante. So maybe Wesley Martina did finally take some control. The final improvements on Rafael Reina. Move him up to an 82 overall. Like I suggested before that game, we have 
upped his ball control and dribbling now to 80. Slightly increased the finishing, just in case we get a chance here in the final. How about we look at Barcelona's team in a, a greater depth before we start this match? Yeah, as we were talking about, they are the uh, second best club side in the world. You're looking at Pedri being a 96 overall. Their weakest player is their right back. But all in all, it's a very, very formidable side. I think it would hurt me if I didn't have Koit Cook on for the majority of the match. Volum is an immense player and we will miss him in this final. Rafa Reina has to come in. I might not actually look towards Jimmy G off the subs bench because he did score that goal in the semi-final. I feel like he's had his moment. Honestly, what a career he's had. Is that 79 overall? He never even reached 80. Anything from the reserves? No, not really. Toland will probably get his uh, chance as we do the Youth Academy only run that might actually be a stream now because of my personal issues we're running slightly later than expected but i am still planning on doing it even if it's just like a goodbye to the fifa series uh, just on twitch you are more than welcome to join us and have a great laugh let's go through this team then in goal you're a lopez left wing back ramon guerra jang sung chan is that Hybrid CDM centre back Sanders and Bustamante proper centre back Soto as hybrid right wing back right midfielder the three central midfielders Juicy John Koit Cook and Rafa Reina and the two up top no real surprise Damian Ellis and Giuseppe Pegoraro they have a Reina they have a Soto duplicate names happening it's uh, been hosted at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium so hopefully we can see a lot of Stockport fans making the trip down south. Barcelona against Stockport in the Champions League final. It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams are intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by Stuart Robson. It's Barcelona, and they take on Stockport County. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do. Just look at the quality down there. Barcelona. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. You got me for the next 90 minutes. No cuts. Just pure drama. And if I make mistakes in the commentary, then so be it, guys. This could be the final goodbye for Stockport County. Let's see how good Barcelona are. Squish. Ferran Torres with an early shot. The Spaniard in our net. He's uh, wanting to impress, I'm sure. He might have been a Barcelona fan growing up. 
big stage. Big stage for many of these players that have never felt such pressure. Are Barcelona going to be as good as Bayer Leverkusen? Or are they going to be as disappointed as Manchester City? Is Rafa Reina going to score in the Champions League final? The big questions to be answered. Juicy John. Can't get that second touch. Kulisevsky. Interesting that Kulisevsky's made his way to Barcelona. And then again, he is a young player. Does have time to keep on developing at Tottenham make that big move that a buster man take wasn't really concerned there could have been nasty juicy john let's move it back to soto as expected barcelona plays slow up until the final third and then spring into life it's another bad pass by buster man take nerves are getting the best of us at the moment but he is seeming to recover quite well Soto, down the line, the Juicy John making himself available. Who's going to score in this Champions League final? Pegararo seems like a nail on. To bag here. But the scenes, if Rafa Reina scores, the scenes, Flash. if someone like Cucaldino finds the back of the net, Jang Sung Chan. Good save at the front post, your Ray Lopez. It's been so important for us all the way through this. Pegararo can, you know, flex his speed now. Really go for it. Down this line. Who is in the box? Raffarina back post, maybe. Trying the slide. Juicy John can't head it towards Jang Sung Chan. This is so tough. Can't get completely caught up in the attack in here because so they do seem pretty good yeah! oh sanders that is beautifully timed if he got that wrong he would have got sent off pegararo so close to being fed through ellis had a chance to potentially run himself sanders again so far having an incredible performance Bustamante, not so much. Is age catching up with old Bustamante? Can't be that old, really. Probably about 27. Just weird to think of some of these players as uh, fully grown adults. That's Ferran Torres making it 1-0 to Barcelona. And to be honest, on the, on the play itself, I think they slightly deserve it. not really too fond of defending quick passing instances like that pieces of play and I'm pretty sure that Barcelona will have that it's a taking the wind out the sails a little bit come on Stockport Jimenez over the top Bustamante will follow needs to play better than what we've seen in the 30 minutes is there a bit of uh, worry there that his place, Stockport for the future, is in danger after losing the captain's armband to Jang Sung Chan? Here comes Kulisevsky. It could have been two. Got to sort ourselves out. I don't think this tactic is working. This particular game, Jang Sung Chan is not covering this defence effectively I mean this formation never seemed to work against fast passing just seemed to work against that Bayer Leverkusen breakaway the speed so really before we go 2-0 down is it smart for Wesley Martino Squish. save Lopez is it smart for Wesley Martino to order for this ball to be put out of play and then we just like concentrate focus on what we need to do i'm thinking immediately as some kind of four diamond narrow diamond in midfield riley sanders can be put there not as a defensive midfielder though goodness me 
What's the man say? Just drop these. Order the uh, wing bikes to drop as well. I think this would be just a, a smarter, smarter play. Getting a bit tactical here. Cook John hopefully gives us more width. Need to see flair creativity. Well done, Soto. Better defensively already from uh, the wide positions. Damien Ellis can use the uh, right-hand side here. Pegararo is the option in the box. There's no lift on the cross. We have to go again. It would be insane for Cucaldino to pull off a long shot here. After essentially winning as the uh, Premier League with a bunch of long shots. I know uh, Pegararo was the final goal scorer that season, but uh, it was so significant for us. Uh, oh, Bustamante's passing again under scrutiny. Sanders there to cover. After playing so well against Leverkusen, I don't want him to have a, a stinker up in here, but it's seeming so. Have we got an onside play? This is Stanisic, Ferran Torres, Bustamante, he's hiked him down, he's had a shocker. Yellow card, Bustamante, he's having a sting career, sadly. The the father figure of this team is uh, closing up this chapter of his footballing career. I mean, if, if it was me playing onwards, Next season, season afterwards, I would probably look to move him on. We know how good Svetkovic is. Jimenez is scoring that one. We did go the right way, but he has absolutely put it into the side netting, and there's nothing really that we can do about that. Oh, look here, Ray Lopez. Man, we have to come back from a mountain here. We have to climb this. Climb it. If only we didn't step to the left there. We might have got a hand on it, and Yure Lopez might have been a hero for that. But you see the speed of um, our team at this moment is not right. We are usually much quicker than this, and I don't know why on earth we are playing so slow when we get the ball. Don't want to feel like I've been handicapped by Buster Mante. I want to keep him on the field. He deserves this. He does deserve this. That's uh, one of the worst halves of football that you could ever wish for for a centre-back. I can't really go to the subs bench yet. I know Bolton would be significantly improving this midfield. But then, who do you move out of that midfield? It's a very difficult decision to be made. Come on, let's resume, match. Let's see what goes on here. See what happens in the next, like, 15 minutes. If we can get a goal, hopes will be brought back. We'll start thinking positively again. But at the moment, it's a new play style. But he's... Uh, getting picked apart at the moment now we have to change our formation uh, our tactics because of it it's quite cook ah cook and scores in the champions league final come on come on cook and have you ever seen such a clutch player i honestly have not really seen much of him this season and here he pops up in the biggest game, Cucaldino. Matt, roll his set. The Estonian scout that brought in Cucaldino in the first place. He needs a bloody knighthood. Honestly, mate. Lacroix. Things going to change for the better. Is he actually called Lacroix? Big question. Tell me down in the comment section. Isn't Lacroix some kind of drink? I don't know. Right, Damian Ellis. That's a slide tackle. Hopefully not a red card. It shouldn't be a red card. Um, but it was pretty nasty there. A red card really helps us. 
But thankfully, it is just a booking. Come on. That goal turns the tide, doesn't it? Terrible pass there by Juicy John. Come on, guys. Stressed out. I kind of endear myself to these players because they are just human and they, they do make a lot of mistakes in comparison to uh, players of the past. This is Pegararo trying to hold it up. What these guys have similar to uh, Bayer Leverkusen is how many men they have in defense to make it very difficult to break down Jimenez. But they are not quick going into attack. So that could be an advantage for us. It's not as uh, insane. When did uh, Damien Ellis get a yellow card? It's not as insane as the uh, counter from Bayer Leverkusen that really gave us so many issues. Kai Cook. Man for the big, big, big games. Bustamante. Be careful. Aye. Right. Might have got a telling off at half time. This is Cocaldinho. 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 I think he's pushed it a little bit too central. Soto gets the ball. How weird that they've got a Soto and a Reina. Shocking defending again by Bustamante. Pulled out from that back line. Rafa Reina not being in the game enough for me. I want him to just stick one in the back of the net and then we can play the chance. Damien Ellis! It's a shot on target. Van Essen's a great goalkeeper. 92 overall. I believe he is a uh, regen, but tell me down in the comments section if that is not the case. Should be a foul there. Soto looked like he went upended, but apparently the ball was touch first. Ferran Torres, nice upper body strength. This has got to be Buster Manzes. We're seeing a better, better performance from him. Second half. This is getting launched up to Pegararo, but I don't really know what you're expecting him to do in that situation. Jumped over. Jang Sung Chan now receives the ball. Slide tackles not even getting close. Here we go. Massive chance. Jang Sung Chan might be going all the way. Huge moment. The captain trying to drive his team on. We definitely had the better of this second half, haven't we? Definitely. We just need to... Get ourselves a second goal. Our fitness levels are good. So if we go into a an extra time period, then so be it. Go on. Great ball there by Raffarena. Pegararo near post. Two, two. Raffarena. Pegararo link up. Setting up. It's setting up for a Raffarena winner here, guys. Hold on to your hats. I knew Pegararo was going to score. And for the final time, maybe... So come on, Pegararo! Stop, but Galliano! We go wild, wild, wild! Wesley Martino oh, getting in on the chant as well. Good lad. Whoo! Okay, all right. We are feeling way more confident now. We have battened down the hatches. We now know what Barcelona are like. We are playing way better football in this second half. Next goal wins it, it seems. Next goal from maybe the little Rafa Reina. It just seems destined to score it. It would be quite the moment. Well, to be honest... Right now, I want a corner kick and I want Bustamante to head in the winner. Because uh, I think there'll be a few comments at the end talking about how bad his performance was. Is this the moment? Rafa Reina tried to get some kind of ball roll in there. It wasn't a bad option, bad decision. But Lacroix covered well and defended it very professionally. Here's Bustamante. Better defenders. Squish. Good save, Lopez. Can't let Jimenez creep through like that, though. 
gets touched by Jang Sung Cham. Jimenez sends the ball across. Oh, what a goal! Gio Reyna! 3-2 Barcelona, that could be it. Ay, ay, ay. After all that, man. Right, menu, menu. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk. Buster Man say you've been a cracking servant, but we can't. We can't have any more of you, mate. The uh, the time has come. Start moving on. Ramon Guerra gets replaced by Espino. Just strong, strong defenders now. Just simply not to concede anymore. Ronnie Valdo will replace Damian Ellis. Can we have a bit of Jimmy Gallagher bowling in for Juicy John because he's not played well? A goal is needed in the next five minutes. I might sit forward. Sitting forward. We are sitting forward. Come on. Got Galdino. Got to focus. Got to try and still commentate. But we've got to find the goal. And no one is getting forward for Stockport. Come on! Cook Aldinho. Right then, Raffarena. Go on, into the space. It's Raffarena. Yes! Limbs! I knew he would score! Oh, Wesley, do you know what's worth? Raffarena is the best on earth! Come on! Stockport's Messi is just what we need. He'll take County to the Champions League. Final. Maybe the trophy. Oh, okay, all right. Got a better defense here. Should be way, way better shape now. Can't let this go to penalties. There could be a winner in it. Oh, my goodness. Soto. He's got Coit Cook there. Delivery's not too bad. Had to make a save, Van Essen. Had to make a save. Corner kick. Man, if Bustamante was still on the field. I think Svetkovic is in there somewhere. Pegararo! Oh, Pegararo's won it! Pegararo's won it! Pegararo's won it like he did with the Premier League title. Oh, this is scenes. This is scenes. The Italiano breaks the Spanish, Spanish hearts in the crowd. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's not going to a extra time period. How have we done that? We've got it out of the fire. Over Van Essen. Giuseppe Pegararo, very, very special player. As soon as he changed the length, he, he became this monster. He became like a Jackers, a Harvey Hall type figure that we could rely on. We've won the Champions League from, from complete desperation. Stockport County have done it. How about that for a final then, guys? How about that? So come on, Pegararo. Stockport Stalliano. We go wild, wild, wild. Wild, wild, wild. Hey, so come on, Pegararo. Stockport Stalliano. Woo! Man, I, f I do feel sorry for Buster Mante. I do feel sorry. But, you know, it's character development at the end of the day. And it was, he was a father figure for us growing up as a football team. But sometimes you, your offspring, the people that you nurtured, they become better than you. And that's a proud moment. Even though Bustamante will be appalled at his own personal performances here, he'll be super, super happy that he's raised up like Sanders to become such a sick centre-back. Jang Sung Chan has lifted the Champions League trophy. We are champions of Europe, and that is the end of the series. That is the end of quite an amazing emotional roller coaster with these boys. Coit Cook! I mean, what a perfect ending that was. A finale. Cook Aldinho scored. Rafa Reina. And of course, Pegararo. Would have been great if we got Jang Sung Chan on the score sheet as well, but 
I tell you what, after such ridicule, he has been so much better as a central defensive midfielder, a defensive presence than what he was. Oh, T-Pose! Get that T-Pose in, lads. Stockport County are Champions League winners. I am exhausted from that. What a final. What a final. Lost for words. And that is your lot. Thank you, European legend. Show is a bit of a smash and grab. It's smash and grab Stockport. No stinginess about that. The stingy Stockport that Dada Buster Mante instilled disappeared for just simply more goals. Stockport became a goal scoring force. It's not just the start, it's the end of the road. <laughs> it is the end of the road, mate. Oh my goodness. And it's the final Youth Squad Legends on a FIFA title. I've been playing it since, like, Christmas 1999. Got myself the chipped PS1 and a dodgy copy of FIFA 2000, and I fell in love with the game. And okay, it's going to be the same under the hood. It's going to just be under a different name. But it seems like that final is the perfect goodbye because it's the perfect storyline to end this series on very close to manchester united and bayern munich all those years back with the late goals turning it all around okay jang sung chan top appearance maker because you lopez sat out of most of the premier league matches top goal scorer not really surprising that it's giuseppe pegararo but even though he had like a quiet season damian ellis was really really close with 25 most assists look at this rafa reina talk about coming in and making yourself a presence in the team top clean sheet riley sanders with 12 jangson chan damian ellis pegararo not really important to see the uh, strikers up there soto Showing his uh, defensive qualities. Bustamante only got eight. What an amazing ride, man. But even as incredible as that final was, I don't think it's going to be as incredible as the piece of news that we are going to end this series on. And to explain how massive this news is, I think we need a story. See, in the first series of Youth Squad Legends, Chesterfield, there was a user by the name of Zonda17 Chinque that started a YSL database. It documented goals and I think assists. That stopped, say, halfway through the Fleetwood series. But the idea kind of stuck with me. We fast forward a couple of years back in Lincoln City's Youth Squad Legends. A group of Discord users approached me trying to start a Youth Squad Legends Wikipedia. But the thing is, we can't really do a Wikipedia without the relevant information. And for us to get all the statistics that we needed from every single series of Youth Squad Legends would take years and years. And of course, if you think about it, years and years have passed. The team led by Rodolfo have done it. They've documented every single game, every single goal, every single assist, every single clean sheet, I think, that is at least available from the edited videos because I don't have the uh, raw footage of every single episode. And it might be, probably is, the biggest community project that any FIFA series from anyone has seen. And we're about to make it public. It is such a significant moment for me to be able to present this information thanks to some incredible volunteers. And it is just simply people putting their valuable spare time into this. It's incredible. It's 11 years of my life. I'm going to start work on a YSL wiki or something along those lines. So before I go and before I bid farewell to this series, I want to say an individual thank you to the people that like significantly contributed to the uh, database. Zonda and Rodolfo, you are absolute legends and I love you forever. And then working under Rodolfo, Zed Spitfire, oh no not him, Wingless Bones, formerly myself, Hupov, Jamie Dunn, JT Evans 5, KCT Lux, Mikey. Mikey was a big, big part of this. Murray Man, Oblivy Ben, The True Autumn, San Vanel, The O Man, Touring Bus, UCN, Aaron 13, Vetya, Wolsey. Thank you ever, ever so much. You do not know how big this, this moment is. If we go deep for a second, I think life is all about trying to leave some kind of positive legacy or memory 
uh, to the people that you had the pleasure of meeting, or in my case, that you've had the pleasure of entertaining through these years. And this database just kind of like reassures me that what I'm doing, even if it's like such a small part of your life, helps, helps a lot of people. If you watched every single episode, thank you ever so much. If you just popped in now and again, thank you ever so much. I'm really touched that people care that much for this series and I can't wait to share with you the next story because we are going to carry on this absolute joyride into FC24. This has been Cutsey. If you enjoyed the video, then please give it a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below. Big thanks to everybody who support me so much through FIFA 23. I hope your support continues in EAFC. Perfect time now to join the Patreon if you want to get customization rewards. You can add players, tell us where to scout in the next series. It's a relief that we've been able to make such a, a fully fledged Youth Squad Legends series after what happened to Leighton Orient and the drop off that that had. Every single series is a learning curve. And even though this was an immense, immense pleasure with Stockport, I do aim for the next series to be even better. See you next time. Bye-bye.